All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Those of you that have been following this channel, you know that we have a Hooligan XL raft, uh, drift boat raft, so we fish out of that a lot. I'm also a guide now, so because I'm a guide, I really wanted to focus on getting all of my fishing tackle, fly gear, spinning gear, whatever I'm bringing for the day into one container. So if I wanna go fish with the buddies or if I wanna go fish with some clients, I can just grab a box and head to the raft and everything's in there that I need for the day to uh, get on some fish. So a popular option that a lot of guides that I've seen use is the Yeti Loadout Go Box, uh, the 30 size. If you're watching this video, you probably have heard of it or know what it is or maybe you're considering buying it. So uh, I was really intrigued by that. I watched some other people's videos on how they had it set up. It's a Yeti box, waterproof, crush proof, dust proof, you know, the Yeti quality. You can fit full size suitcase style fly boxes in there um, along with a bunch of other stuff. When you lift the lid up, it has a zipper compartment. You can put a whole bunch of gear in there. And it also has a uh, divider and a little organizing tray on top. So uh, it was a pretty, uh, pretty good option though, uh, pretty pricey. So that box itself was $250 right from Yeti. You'd probably get it cheaper some other place, but for the sake of this video on their website today, it's $250. So one of the problems that I found is that most of the people using these are fishing out of drift boats. So they're bigger boats. You got more room, more room for storage. And I'm in a raft which has far less storage. Uh, what I wanted to be able to do with this is have it right accessible to me as I'm in the rower seat. So I wanted to be able to stuff it underneath the seat right in front of me and measuring my raft specifically, the Yeti box would not work. Uh, it was too tall and really it was kind of overkill for what I needed. It was still, it was a little bit bigger than what I wanted in the raft. So I went on a search to find something that I could basically build that's similar to the Yeti, but smaller. So I needed it to be shorter. I didn't really need the width either. So. I did a ton of research um, looking at uh, all the other competitors that make cases. I was basically looking at the internal dimensions and external dimensions to make sure that I can fit a suitcase style um, like streamer box in there. So what I ended up with was this right here. This is the Pelican 1507 box and you can see the size of it here. It's smaller than the Yeti and it's actually quite a bit lighter than the Yeti, a uh, little less than half. So the Yeti weighs uh, a little over 12 pounds and this weighs a little over five pounds. Just to be clear, I bought this with my own money. I didn't reach out to them at all. I just uh, did a ton of research and this is what I ended up with. So the air cases are made 40% lighter, um, just as durable, but they made them lighter than uh, all their other cases. Basically $185 for this box, which is still a lot. Don't get me wrong, that's a lot. Um, but this is a quality box, just as good as a Yeti or anything else you're gonna get. And I bought this without any foam or dividers. You can get them with a divider or foam, you know, peel and pluck foam. This size box with the outside dimension slides right underneath the seat of the raft. And I still have room on either side of this box. I usually stuff my anchor rope or maybe a drink or something on this side, so. It's uh, decently smaller than the Yeti, but it's still got the depth that I wanted um, it, that will just fit underneath the seat. So the latches, I actually really like the latches. I can run them one-handed, push this button and flip it up, and then they lock right down like that. I think it's actually easier than the Yeti box. It does have a place to put a padlock on there, a little place for like a business card or something where I stuck my guide business card in there in case this thing gets lost. So let me pop this thing open and let me show you how I've organized it inside. So here we go. Kind of looks similar to the Yeti Go box, no? So what I did, obviously you can see there's no foam in here. I left it just the way it was. And it fits these suitcase style streamer boxes. They fit vertically, straight up and down, just like that. I've labeled them, one's for trout, one's for bass. I just leave them in there because honestly, they're kind of interchangeable depending on what you're doing. Um, but those fit just perfectly in there with the lid closed so I can maximize the space that I'm using. Uh, it'll also fit these smaller like uh, cliff boxes and other suitcase style boxes. You just got to measure the, the height of your box and make sure it'll fit inside of this. Um, but from what I measured, most of those smaller boxes this size will fit. 
Uh, now what I did up here was I wanted to utilize the cover space like the Yeti box does. I had some old Velcro strips that were adhesive backed that I used to make my bimini top on my boat to make the windshield for it. And I just peeled the backing off, cut them to fit and stuck them right on there. So that stuff is rugged. You can see the Velcro strips on there. I'll link that Velcro down in the description because it is super strong. This stuff is ridiculous. Uh, once it's on there, it's hard to get it off. Uh, these things I bought right on Amazon. Um, just a couple little uh, Velcro bags, organizers and stuff. I'll link these in the description below. Get them on Amazon super cheap and they already have the Velcro on them and they just stick right on. And it just sticks right up on there. Uh, you just got to watch out on this side to not have anything too too thick or the cover won't close so that's why i don't have much over here but on this side i got a container that's got all kinds of stuff it's got uh, some sunscreen got a tape measure got some uh, split shot various tools hook sharpener things like that that i might need this little thing doesn't have anything in it right now this case right here just has some tools it has a stream thermometer uh, hook sharpener, nail knot tool, and this bag here has stuff like floatant, um, indicators, things like that. Smaller items that need to be contained. And then pretty much everything else in here is just bigger boxes. So uh, I've got a popper box for bass, top water stuff. I've got my spinning tackle box crankbait spoons and spinners in there and then all of my smaller flies like i said all my streamers are in these bigger boxes but all of my smaller flies like dry flies uh, traditional streamers and buggers and stuff those are all in these umqua boxes and i found that these these are actually really nice because uh, you can fit a ton of flies in them and they're still pretty low profile um, so i can stack you know four or five of those in there and still have plenty of room I'll just show you what's in each box in case you're curious. This box here is my sort of traditional streamer box. Uh, you flip over the leaf here and on the back side I got some buggers and thin mints and things like that. Leech pattern. So I'll link these boxes down below. I really like them a lot, especially this one for my nymph box, which I still need to work on quite a bit, but uh, it's a process getting everything uh, filled up. But So you can see here some nymphs in there and this actually has four different leaves to it you flip this one over and i got a couple of little midges there on this little uh magnetic thing which is pretty sweet um because those are always a pain to get in and out of the slot flip it over here we've got a bunch of stonefly stuff and then this is kind of the dry fly box here we got some bigger stuff uh got some caddis and Adams parachute stuff and some bigger like terrestrial ch uh, chubbies ants hoppers things like that these are just kind of smaller boxes if i need something specific i'll take it out of my bigger boxes or out of my personal stuff that i have at the house for the day something i know i'm gonna need and i'll stick it in here but this pretty much it just stays in this box um, i also got um, some different spools of tippet material I keep some of this on the raft anyway, but it's always good to have extra. Um, I have a leader wallet uh, by this company, uh, Vedavu. I think that's how you pronounce it. It's actually pretty sweet. It's like a vinyl material and they make real uh, cases too. And I like a real protective case that I use when I uh, transport my fly rods in my rod case. They, they're pretty sweet, but it's just a leader wallet. You can see we got some pre-made tapered leaders in there um so that's what that is and then i got a spare spool in here right now for a streamer rod and you can see i got plenty of room for a lot more stuff sometimes i'll put some camera gear in there maybe another extra couple reels depending on what we're doing but that's pretty much it it's a pretty sweet box i really like it i've been using it the last uh, few times we've been out on the water before using this i was bringing my sling pack and that worked all right but it just uh it gets line caught on it really easily. It's not waterproof. And I kind of want to just protect my investment with all these flies and my gear and stuff. I don't know how many streamer boxes and stuff that I've ruined in the past because they got soaked. 
and I didn't realize it and all the colors kind of bled together and then all the streamers, half the streamers were ruined uh, the next day. Same with poppers and stuff. So uh, this way I can kind of keep everything dry and uh, protected. Flies are not cheap, especially some of these streamers are pretty pricey, but I put on a couple foam patches on the outside here to let some streamers and stuff dry off. Um, just stuck those on there, put some stickers on some companies that I use and like, and that's about it. So there it is, kind of my DIY Yeti Loadout Go box for a little bit cheaper. For what I needed, the Yeti box wasn't gonna work, so I built something myself that would suit my needs and I'm super happy with it. So I'll be using this for a long time. Anyways, guys, if you wanna go check out this box, I'll leave everything down in the description below, how I built it, all the different uh, the velcro and the different little con containers there i'll leave these fly boxes as well so you'll know that they will fit in this box and uh yeah appreciate it thanks for watching guys if you haven't already hit that subscribe button hit the thumbs up comment what you think of this box if you'd ever get it if you'd use it and we'll catch you guys in the next video thanks